Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. More weapons for Ukraine, for the United States of America. And these are some uh, very important uh, weapons. Uh, they say they are very, very good and they are called NASAMs. United States to send eight NASAMs, N-A-S-A-M-S, -S, so I would say I would call them NASAMs, to Ukraine, Pentagon uh, stated, reported. This article comes from Ukraine Forum. It's a Ukrainian, obviously, uh, media outlet. It's from today, the 1st of November, 2022. The U.S. government will transfer eight NASAMs air defense systems to Ukraine, and two of them will arrive in Ukraine in the near future. Okay, well, this is uh, being reported by a U.S. senior defense official in a briefing. And I'm quoting, the United States has already provided Ukraine with 1,400 Stingers, which is short-range air defense, and our allies and partners have also provided considerable numbers, numbers of short-range and air defense systems. The U.S. have also committed eight NASAMs and associated munitions, and uh, two of, the, of those will be in Ukraine in the very near future, with six more to be provided later. We have also committed to a suit of counter-unmanned aerial system, including the Vampire system and other radar systems, since we know that the UAS threat, threat is also a serious threat right now. UAS. Okay, he said. The official added that the US also helped support Slovakia's donation of an S-300 system earlier in the war, which were blown up as soon as they got by Odessa or something like that. This was, and I'm quoting, this was incredibly important to protect Ukrainian infrastructure at that point, <coughs> excusez-moi, in time, he added. As reported by Ukraine Forum last Friday, Deputy Pentagon Press Secretary Sabrina Singh said that the, said that the Ukrainian military were undergoing training on NASAM's air defense systems, and after the completion of the training, the system would be sent to Ukraine. Well, I don't know. I never worked on an NASAM, so I don't know uh, how complicated it is and how easy it is to learn. What I know is that you need a lot of practice. Now, how do you practice on an Assam? You do it virtually, correct? Because you're not going to do it somewhere here in the United States, in, I don't know, in the Arizona desert somewhere, or wherever they have some uh, um, places where they train and they, uh, I don't know, practice uh, skills. In this case, uh, these guys are trained. But I have only one. It's good. Provide more. That's fine. Uh, we know who are the sponsors, we know who are the guys behind the whole thing. When there will be no more Ukrainians to fight, there will be no more war in Ukraine. Because I don't think the, the West will, uh, will uh, push and bring their own people to die over there. But what they will do, or possibly do, they will do, um, do continue the proxy war through other states like Lithuania, Poland, Estonia, Latvia, Romania, maybe go down in the Caucasus, even go in the southern part of uh, Russia, and you start these kind of things. It's not going to be hard to do, and uh, that's probably a plan B. And I'm pretty sure there are plan, uh, plan A, B, C, D, E, and goes and on. Do I think that those guys are able to operate those uh, NASAMs? I don't know. The only thing I have for you is a statement made by, an ass assessment made actually by U.S. retired uh, military general colonel. He was never a general because he was too mouthy and uh, he didn't follow the script. Therefore, he was stopped at colonel McGregor, Douglas McGregor. And... Uh, when he talked about HIMARS, he said those are contractors who operate HIMARS uh, missile systems in Ukraine. They're not Ukrainians. That's what he said. You can still uh, look for him where he said it in one of his uh, podcasts. It's about what, two minutes, three minutes. And he said uh, the reason why is because you need so much training for HIMARS that he said something like uh, the person over there using it, it needs to uh, be able to... Uh, 
complete about 1,200 tasks before it just launches, uh, be able to figure things out in a short period of time and there's too many things he needs to learn. You can learn in a weekend or so. Now, I don't know if these guys with uh, Nassam's uh, learned or were trained in a weekend or not, but when you get this kind of uh, expensive uh, systems, I don't think you want to put people that uh, you don't know what they're doing over there. And their, the risk is too great, unless you are just a joystick and someone else is using you with a finger and that someone else is from somewhere else and you just push that, do this, do this and actually you're just over there as the operator but the brain is over there. So you're just a little horse that pulls the carriage. It's not the horse who pulls the carriage actually, it's you through the horse. The same when you have a pistol and someone commits a crime, it's not the pistol's fault, it's your fault actually. The crime was not committed by the gun, it was committed by the handler. So the same here. Yeah, if we have, uh, you know, uh, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna make a, a very bad analogy, but uh, understand uh, it's not to uh, look down on Ukrainian whatsoever, and uh, it's like a, a monkey trained to ride the bicycle. Um, you know, um, the monkey just rides the bicycle, but it can't build a bicycle, so it can't really understand what's going on over there. It's just trained to keep the balance and pop, 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 pedal and cling, cling, cling. That's it. So uh, you can, you know, have people operating certain systems, but someone else telling you what to do in those circumstances. I'm pretty sure that's virtual training and not only virtual training. You can be under the supervision with cameras, everything, and you just push the buttons and you do whatever you're supposed to, what they tell you. Push the red button, tick, tick, three times, beep, 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 beep. Now we look on that screen, okay, push this, tick, do like this light, tick, and you're just a monkey on the bike. Let's put it this way. Uh, I'm not saying that's the case, but if we have to go that far, you can do also this kind of thing. As I say, they're Ukrainians operating. Yeah, okay, all right. Well, not that they can't. I don't think they have the time. I'm not talking about capabilities here. I'm talking about time constraint. That's what it is. And uh, yeah, you can train them, but you have to be an expert because it's a war zone over there and you have this multi-million dollar equipment that you can't afford being blown up the first uh, 33 seconds on the uh, front, you know what I mean? So you have to be an expert. You can't just be a trained rookie because this is what you're gonna be, a ru -ru 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 rookie, that's what you're gonna be. But anyway, the thing is those are provided to Ukrainians. I'm pretty sure the Russians are gonna blow some of them up and that's how people die and uh, for other people's interests. But what can you do when you're a country uh, that supposedly you're sovereign, which you're not, uh, I'm talking about Ukraine, what can you do? Continue doing what you're doing because uh, the mass media is working, the actors over there, which is Zelensky, showing up and telling you, um, mm -mm, you know, all these things is just a uh, gimmick. But unfortunately, that gimmick uh, has consequences and the Ukrainian nation will be decimated and uh, will be replaced with some immigrants from other places. Uh, no problem for the leaders in Brussels and wherever else they are because for them, they need people to work. That's what they need. They don't need cultures and they don't need the traditions and religions. No, I need you to go produce things for me. That's the, the whole thing is this. It's a modern way of slavery, but it's a more subtle, you know, smoother. And if you have the government to provide you the jobs, that's even worse because you have that guy uh, being in charge of the slave plantation. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.